Hi, I am Daniela and this is Vidar. We met six years ago in Miami and when we first met I had a dream to travel around the world in a van and his dream was to do it in a sailboat. But I never thought we'll be traveling in a free fall lifeboat. <laughs> I guess no one did. But here we are building a trimaran sailboat out of a free fall lifeboat which eventually is going to be our floating art studio and home while we are traveling around the world. Uh, maybe we would even be the first ones to sail around the world in a free fall lifeboat on its own queue. Uh, we hope the project will help motivate others to also reuse retired lifeboats, uh, which could help reduce waste. And that the project will give you some ideas and inspiration for the potential these boats actually have. And uh, I'm going to take you a little bit back of uh, how it all started and what led us to where we are now. We had both uh, been living in Miami for about 13 years and yeah. we were having, after we met, we had uh, been living a pretty normal life. I moved originally from Ecuador when I was 16 years old. I studied art and psychology. And after school, I was working as a therapist, but it wasn't really for me. So I started working with elementary school children in libraries, forests, and Montessori schools. I also te uh, was teaching art to children and adults as a side gig. And Vidar, who is originally from Norway. Yes, when uh, we met, I uh, had just started back in a corporate job uh, after many years of uh, working uh, on entrepreneurial projects. Uh, and before that, again, I was creative director for many years and also creative media consultants for global brands. Um, yeah, I guess we are both artists and, and free spirited, and you know, it's uh, we like to do things our way. <laughs> no. And when we met, uh, we kind of had the urge to do something purposeful. And within the first year of living together, we started like working to pursue our dreams and to find ways to have more free time to spend it with the family. Yeah, and I would say like from there on, things went pretty fast. Um, we left everything behind in Miami, headed to Norway to close on a boat deal uh, that we had been looking at. Or, but it wasn't any boat deal. I mean, this was a boat that our first time was looking at in 2005. It was for sale for a waste, no, for like a lot of money. Then it was for five, six years ago, it was out again for sale for something a little bit more reasonable. But I kept contact with the owners. So at the time we decided, hey, we are ready to, you know, to go for it. We agreed on a deal, headed to Norway. And to make a long story short, the deal didn't go through based on the age of the boat. The banks wasn't willing to lend us the money. Um, since the boat would be more than 30 years old at the time that the loan was, you know, paid down. So we, uh, we ended up staying. We are, you know, we usually find our ways. We ended up staying with my sister, Hanumo. Thank you, Hanumo. We love you. <laughs> uh, and we continued to look for other kind of ways of how we can, you know, actually get our hands on this boat. Um, it was a 76 foot aluminum sailor um, in originally from 1992 uh, but when the deal didn't go through we also started to look for replacements other boat projects uh, and um, you know uh, Siri produced boats but it was really hard to get turned on since we had like this kind of boat as an initial idea um, yeah, and what can I say? We stayed behind, even though we faced a few challenges. We got problems with the visa, the working visa, visas for the Daniela, the coronavirus, and not least that we was actually running out of cash. <laughs> Thank you.
So, you know, everything actually worked much better than what we expected. We found a remote home in a small town in the south of Norway that we are renting. I got my working visa and a job at a local Montessori school, which is awesome. And he's working as a full-time artist. So Vitor got this bold idea of converting a free fall lifeboat into a home. And he spent around six months reaching out to every old company in Norway. And he finally got a hold of it. Then him and other friends sailed for about 240 nautical miles to the south of Norway from the west coast. And here you can see some pictures and videos that were taken right before the phone fell, it fell on bilge water. Yeah, the thing is that we don't have a lot of footage from the trip since, I mean, we had a constant engine failure. We came about a few hundred yards and then the boat was overheated, uh, heating. We found a dock that we could uh, lay into. We managed to clean the cooling system. Uh, when we started again, then it failed since we are on a dirty diesel filter. So we were down, up and down and up and down from the engine room and the phone, which I was filling, uh, filming with, just fell down in the bilge water and that was it. So while leaving in the lifeboat would allow us to sail away home debt free. Uh, working in our art studio lifeboat around the world, but also allow us to pursue in our long-term goals of doing something purposeful and uh, let us meet our personal goal of spending more time together. Life goes around the world is our socially engaged art project and it will allow us to deliver quality art classes in ports, children homes, uh, venues, and remote places, especially remote places where art, art education and materials are limited. Today the interior of the boat is ready to be rebuilt. The armas or the side holes are finished uh, and you probably wonder how we are able to finance it all and um, until today we have financed the build by selling arts and Daniela's uh, salary from the Montessori school. Uh, but we have been really lucky as well. So for the Amas, for example, um, we were able to find a giveaway mold. Uh, like it was, yeah, it was like made for the boat. It was 11 meter long, one meters wide, one and a half meter deep. Um, so that kind of allowed us to get some professionals to build the, the holes. And uh, the price for them was uh, sliced in half, basically. So going forward, we are going to continue documenting the build as well as followed with the... No. Go Go on. Going forward, uh, we are going to continue uh, documenting the build as well as followed... No. <laughs> 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 okay. <You get> it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. Going forward, we will continue documenting the build followed by the journey. And uh, if you would like to support the project, please uh, check out our art pages on the links below. DanielaYumaArt.com and VidarLeon.com. Uh, you can also follow us on Instagram at DanielaYumaArt and VidarLeonArt. Uh, and of course, live both around the world. Yes, follow us on Instagram. Any art purchase is going to accelerate the build tremendously. And I mean, corporate sponsorship in terms of materials, expertise, or funds would be lovely as well, is welcome. So, um, you know, follow us for updates and uh, the journey ahead. Thank you. <laughs>